The volume of trade between Tanzania and China is on an upward trajectory. In the first eight months of this year, the two countries have already traded $5.4 billion worth of goods, 6.8% more than last year. China has continued to expand its import of African goods and get granted uh, zero tariff to the 98% of the taxable items from the least developed countries uh, of Africa, including Tanzania. Tanzanian economists say, apart from good relations between Tanzania and China, other factors are behind the increased trade. The hurdles that we used to have uh, during COVID-19 era has uh, kind of 95% disappeared, so we are back into normal trading. That's why we find there's a growth of almost 6 point something uh, percent uh, trade between these two countries. And the other thing is that uh, even the banks are coming up now, so you find even the, the, the growth in uh, loans disbursement for the past year has been uh, very good. Tanzania mainly exports agricultural products such as soybeans and avocados, as well as assorted minerals to China. Imports from China include vehicles, textiles and light industrial products. For the last seven years, China has been Tanzania's largest and most significant trading partner. With a Chinese market of more than 1.4 billion people to potentially benefit from, the Tanzanian government is hoping for sustained growth in trade between the two countries. In the first eight months of the year, Tanzania exported around 20,000 tons of soybean to China. But some economists argue that the country is pulling below its weight. We have allowable ends that we can cultivate more of such an item as soya so that we can a little bit have a lion's share when it comes to selling it to China. Uh, that having said, even you know, processing uh, plants, I think we should even embark on making sure that we process more and uh, sell it to China. The Tanzanian government says it is currently working on a plan to raise the value of its exports to China from $600 million recorded in 2020 to about $1 billion by 2025. This, it believes, will balance trade between the two nations and bring about greater economic benefits for its citizens. Isaac Lukando, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.